Hey comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0 and fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do comic book haul week number 204. That's right, fans. Now, not an overwhelming uh, comic book week for me, but there are some good titles and I want to share what I got with you guys. So here we go this week. So here is the bag. Stuff comes out of the bag. You can see there's a decent amount of stuff in the bag. So let's take that all out. Let's throw the bag on the floor because that's where I usually put it. Here we go. So first things first, I got, yes, another bookmark because I need the bookmarks for my trades. Mark my place where I read them on certain ones. And the next thing I wind up getting is this little uh, promotional card. Uh, here we can say special 96 page 25th anniversary issue uh, So yeah, I can imagine how much that's gonna cost. It'll probably be like 10 bucks So we'll see how that goes if I buy that or not And uh, got some bags and boards here as we have like a set it like 30 of them for five bucks So I got that and uh, So now we'll talk about the comic books. So First things first is, I can't believe this is already out again as this came out two weeks ago, but this seems like a bi-monthly title just like all of some of the other books. And this is Extraordinary X-Men, and we are already on issue six with this. Uh, so it looks like this will be starting a, a new story arc here uh, with our X-Men heroes. And uh, I guess we're going to really see the direction that this title is going to go, who their adversaries are, and uh, anxiously awaiting to see what's going to happen here. So this is Extraordinary X-Men issue number six. Next, we have John Layman's and Rob Gullery's Chew. Uh, that's right, guys. Uh, this is uh, issue number 54. After this issue, there will only be five more issues left until the finale of this entire series. It's hard to believe that... Uh, that this series is coming to an end. I think John Lehman has done phenomenal with it. It's hysterical. It's very original. I love it. And uh, this is Chew issue number 54. All right. Next, we have a book from Marvel. That might be an acquired taste for people, but I do like this. I like seeing the supernatural side of things when it comes to the uh, of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And this is the Howling Commandos uh, Shield. So uh, of S.H.I.E.L.D. So uh, I love how... Uh, uh, Duggan is in there, uh, and he's like being put in the sarcophagus by the uh, by the main enemy here. So this is a good book. Certain things are unwinding, and and uh, I'm anxious to see, to see where it goes. Uh, the zombie in here that that works with the the uh, uh, Howling Commandos is hilarious, and uh, it's a good book to read. I have a lot of fun with it. So Howling Commandos of Shield issue number four. All right, next we go on to probably a highly anticipated book for a lot of people, and that is Old Man Logan, issue number one. That's right, guys. Uh, straight out of the Secret Wars, uh, we get this first debut issue. Jeff Lemire is the writer on this book, and the artwork is done by Andrea Sorrentino. So same thing. Um, I'm definitely going to give this book a, a shot. It looks like it leaves off right where uh, it left off, or that's where it starts, where it last left off. And um, I, I'm going to see where this book actually goes. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Sorrentino's artwork, but I'm interested to see where the old man Logan story goes and how it develops and, and whatnot. So, uh, again, this is old man Logan issue number one. Next, uh, we got into Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples' Saga. That's right, issue number 33 or chapter 33. As it looks like it has our, uh, some people in the water here. Not sure where they're escaping or where they're swimming to. Uh, but Saga is always a, a, a great book. And, you know, the artwork is extraordinary by uh, Fiona Staples. I love it. And uh, I don't think I'll ever drop it. It's such a fun read. And so this is issue number 33. 
All right, next we go on to another independent book this week, guys. And this is a very iconic, a very uh, classic uh, staple from when it comes to Savage Dragon. And this is Savage Dragon issue 211. I think this plays tribute to issue number one. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the exact cover, except uh, it was um, – Instead of Malcolm Dragon, it's, it was Savage Dragon on there. I have to look at the issue number one cover to remember that. If not, it's very similar. But this is a total classic uh, uh, Eric Larson artwork and uh, its first issue in a bold new direction. So I cannot wait to read Savage Dragon 211. I'm a fan of this series, just a hardcore fan of it. And it's, a, again, cult following, but I love it. All right, next we have Sp Spider-Woman issue number three uh, as we get to see Spider-Woman uh, get trapped in a, like this black hole and she was doing battle against scrolls. Her baby is about to come. Um, pretty interesting cover as the uh, uh, as like Spider-Woman represents the eye in Spider-Woman. So I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, I like this series. I kind of miss like the old Jessica Drew, but nevertheless, this is a good book. And uh, I think uh, Dennis Hopeless is a great writer, and I can't wait to read that one. So Spider-Woman issue number three. All right, next we have Superman issue number 48, uh, as it looks like Superman has to use kryptonite for something. And uh, since I guess he's not really powered the way that he used to be. Um, I, I don't know if the, the kryptonite has an effect on him or, or what's the case here. But, you know, we're getting closer to these issue 50s or 51s or 52s whenever DC decides to do their rebirth. Um, and I'll be anxiously awaiting to see what Superman becomes in this whole reboot that you're doing. So this is Superman issue number 48. All right, next we go on to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue number 54. Pretty cool cover here. As you can see, Michelangelo uh, fighting off some dragon. But the last uh, we left off with this series, that is that he looked like he was joining these um, these fellow mutants. And uh, he was on to Old Hob and trying to find out what was going on. And it looks like he was up to some, some shenanigans here. So uh, we'll see where this book goes. But this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue 54. Looking forward to that one. All right, next is a cool book that has that real good horrific feel to it, and that's Carnage. And this is issue number four. Uh, we have Jerry Conaway, who's the writer here. Uh, this book is 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 the character um, Carnage is actually Cletus Cassidy is very much in character in here. The book is always so dark, and you got Carnage just hiding behind the caverns, waiting to attack. And now it just looks like it's going in some weird direction with like. Uh, a cult and whatnot it's like i don't even know what's happening in here but i can't wait to read it it is a very dark title but it's very fitting for the character so this is carnage issue number four all right next guys uh, we have uh daredevil issue number three uh this book follows the tones off of the tv series uh from netflix and that second season is just around the corner and punishment punisher is going to make his debut so what's going on with this uh, whole five finger gang or ten finger gang well they wind up being um uh being destroyed or being attacked by the uh the hand in here and that's where this 10 finger guy got all his power from so this will be interesting in the direction where this one goes going forward so love the series uh again very dark might not be for everybody but this is uh daredevil issue number three and then last but not least, guys, I uh, picked up a trade this week, and this is for Comic Book Corner Old School. If you guys haven't checked it out, go ahead, check it out, subscribe to it. Uh, it has to do with all kinds of old comic book reviews anywhere from 1999 and older. So I'm talking 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. And the trade I wound up picking up today was the Invincible Iron Man uh, trade, Armor Wars. And this book covers uh, Iron Man issues 225 to issue 232 this book is written by uh, david michelin and the art is done by bob 
uh, Layton. So um, definitely looking forward to this as I was a huge fan of Iron Man in this time in the 80s. And uh, this is when all the technology just really outstanding me. I love the armors and, and things like that. So I was really, really excited when I saw this trade. I got it for uh, $14.99. The regular retail price for it uh, runs for uh, 25 bucks. So I got uh, $10 off off of it. So really excited to do that. And I'll be reviewing that over on again on comic book corner uh old school as i still have to start an iron man series over there so it's still revealing things on old school so check it out if you haven't yet so there you guys have it there is the haul for the week hopefully you guys enjoyed it now it's your turn in the comments below and tell me what your comics that you purchased for the week and which ones you're least excited about maybe most excited about or even tell me ones that you've already read that could be that are good or bad so again fans as always thank you for watching comic book corner 2.0 and until that next comic book review, check out Comic Book Corner Old School. Check out my group channel, Comic Frontline. And fans, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Take care, guys. Bye.